I've lost two more fish. I have to do something. I have to do something about this now. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. On the U-turn when possible. No, we're not U-turning. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Here's my Brazilian bumblebee catfish and my albino Corydoras. All right, y'all. So this tank is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. But something sinister is going on in here. I can't figure out what it is. My only guess is that piece of wood is poisoning my cardinal tetras so I'm gonna have to take all this stuff out I need to rinse it off really really well reset it back up <laughs> and I don't have time to cycle it because I'm gonna have to take the fish out of here I'm gonna put them in this emergency two and a half gallon just until I get this filled back up. All right, let me go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is take out all the plants. I'm gonna take that my light off, take all the plants out, get the dead fish out. There's ugh, three of them floating in there. There's three of them. Oh, there goes one there, Jeez. This is gonna be a huge undertaking, but I'm, I've got to do this right now. And let me tell you, let me show you something else. All right, you see up in this area, how it looks like a brownish tinge to it. That's actually the water. And I think that this piece of wood is leaching something into the water. It's releasing tannins that it had not done. And I soaked this for over a month, changed the water in it, twice a week and it never released any tannins but now that it's in this water it's releasing tannins like crazy the water is tinged I just changed this I did a 50% water change uh, what two days ago and now it's already brown again like that you can see the reflection of the brownish color got the plants out the plants were doing so well I mean they had deep deep roots I sure hate to I sure hate to do this uh, now I'm gonna take out the big rocks got it out y'all that thing stinks it smells like rotten eggs that had to be in what was killing my fish. The plants are doing great, but I can smell it. It just smells very sulfury. I don't. I don't know. Uh, this was this was a slight disaster, but I now I need to fish out the rest of the fish. Get the rocks out. I need to clean everything, rinse everything really, really well, and then I'm gonna put everything back. All right, y'all. I've got nine very scared fish in there. Out of the 25 fish I had in there, nine is what's left. Now what I'm doing, I took the rocks out, took all the rocks out. Now I'm taking out the substrate, putting it in there, and then I'm rinsing it out in hot water in the tub. And then I'm going to do the same with the sand, and then I'm going to take the light off and take the tank Scrub it down really good and then fill it back up. 
starting from a clean slate I've got everything cleaned out everything rinsed with hot water sanitized ish with the hot water and now I have forgotten that I don't have any more of the filter bags for this I'm totally changing the filter bag and everything in it because I don't want to recontaminate these so uh, 7 is 7 30 now <laughs> So I'm going to have to run out to the pet store, pick up some more filters, come back, scape this thing, fill it, get the fish back in there. Oh my goodness. Whew. This has been a whirlwind of activity. I need to hurry up and get this done because I have to get up at 7.30. I mean, 7.30. It's 7.30. I have to get up at 3.30 in the morning. So let me hurry up, go do that, and come back.